Welcome back to NASA JPL. It's been an absolutely amazing day, uh, but the most amazing part is yet to come as the team unveils the first color pictures of the surface of Mars. The scientists and engineers, both the United States and German, that built you did promise that you would land in one of the most exotic spaces, sp places in the solar system, the flood delta of an ancient valley named Ares, a canyon so huge that it was capable of carrying 1,000 times the flow of the Amazon River. Dry for billions of years, the delta is now an ideal place to look for the diversity of rocks that contain the history of early Mars, and perhaps you will see some evidence in the pictures I'll show in a second of the dry landscape of the ancient water channels left from the last flood. This is what you see. Turn your head to the right and see the next slide, and we'll look to the other side of the pedal. Look in the distance. Those hills are not far away. It's too early for me to tell you how far, but they are fairly close. And look at that airbag bunched up on the uh, right side of the rover pedal. And now I'm going to take you through a few close-ups within this landscape. And if I can have the next slide, we're looking towards the southwest, and the sun is over our left shoulder. You can see by the shadows. The sun's about 9.30 in the sky. And those boulders are the rocks that we will be investigating over the next few weeks. Those are the rocks that may hold the clues to the history of Mars. And in the next picture, we'll look at the rover and what it has to deal with. There's the rocks and those distant hills. One hill has a little chunk out of it. I think that's uh, on the border between two frames, and will be corrected. This is a fantastic landscape. You see sand there. You see a diversity of rocks. This is exciting for us, and this is what we'll be exploring. Now let's look a little closer. Next picture. This is the APXS. You see that little can. Let me see if I can point it out. There. This is the APXS. This is the ramp that's still stowed and can be deployed. Well, I'm not sure that it will be. And the airbag that is certainly interfering with the deployment of the ramp. Next, a close-up view of the rock. And if you look carefully up, you can see some of the soil has been disturbed here, obviously from when the airbags are being retracted. And you can see a close-up view of a rock. And I refuse to speculate at this point what that rock is, but we are going to be studying that and hope to tell you soon what our scientific assessment is. So with those images, we are started on our mission. We are returning pictures as fast a rate as we can. Believe me, we want to see them as much as everyone else. And uh, over the next few days, you will start to see some really more mature products coming out of this camera instead of this first quick look. Nipple flight. Flight nipple. Go ahead and uh, take the front ramp image as highest priority for processing. Since uh, we won't have an F-22. Got it. As you saw from the pictures from the last PESH conference, we had some concerns about uh, the airbag billowing in front of the rover ramps. So uh, we came up with a plan uh, to raise the pedal, raise the rover pedal, uh, retract the airbag, airbag retraction actuators for about 10 minutes, and then lower the, uh, the pedal again. And you can see right here that we have some airbag material that looks like it's, it's hanging over the pedal and uh, possibly obstructing uh, the path that the ramp would go through. So uh, we just, that's why we decided to, uh, to try to get those airbags pulled a little more under the pedal. OK, you can see here's an after picture that uh, it's, it's considerably improved. It looks like you can see the, uh, the edge of the pedal here. And you can see that the, it looks like the airbags are comfortably below that edge. So uh, the rover people took a look at that. Um, the only problem is, is that we can't uh, quite see the full extent of uh, uh, we kind of had the picture chopped off here. So we're still not fully uh, comfortable until we get a few more pictures back down to deploy that ramp. But it looks a lot better than it did before.